How would you feel if an expert told you there is no hope, it's just doom and gloom? How would you feel if that expert wasn't a politician or an economist or even a doctor, but the expert was God's prophet? So you assume this is what Hashem is saying. There's no hope. How would you feel? The Gemara shares an incredibly powerful story. King Chizkiyahu, one of the most righteous kings of Jewish history, at one point in his life was deathly ill. And the prophet at the time, the prophet Isaiah, came to see him. And the prophet told him there is no hope. The prophet told him he would die, and the prophet told him he would lose his portion in the world to come. Now that's doom and gloom from a really good source. This is the prophet himself. And the way in which King Chizkiyahu responded is supposed to be a lesson for all of us. He turned to the prophet and said, leave. Take your prophecy and leave my presence. Because I have a tradition from my ancestor, King David, that the Jewish attitude is you never accept a prediction of doom and gloom. You never accept that there's no hope. My ancestor, King David, taught that even if the sword is at your throat, you say, I trust in God. And I trust that God's mercy can see me through even the bleakest times. King Chizkiah turned away from Isaiah, prayed to God, was healed, and lived another 15 years. You know, there are many experts who give us the impression that things are dire and bleak, and there's no way out of this, at least not in the foreseeable future. As Jews, we say it doesn't matter how bleak it seems. We trust in God that like this, everything can and please God will turn around. Have a great day. Stay safe and stay sane.